Assalamualaikum uh, Alhamdulillah every night during Ramadan We see um, our children praying And also playing in the masjid And most of them are also fasting full time I hope they keep this happy memory of Ramadan with them when they grow up And I'm sure most of us also have fond memories of uh, Ramadan uh, during our uh, childhood For most children, all the hardships of fasting are usually gone and forgotten once they hear the Adhan for Maghrib. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, Liso imi farohtani yafrohuhuma Ida aftoro fariha wa ida laqya rabbahu fariha bisawmih So, the Prophet ﷺ said, There are two occasions for joy for uh, the fasting person the first one is when he breaks his fast because of his breaking it and the other when he meets his lord because of the reward for his fast so there are at least two lessons that we can draw about uh, reward of doing worship to allah or any any good deed first is about the timing which is when the reward will come uh, will come to us we know that the first occasions of joy from fasting will come um, when we break our fast when we can eat and drink uh, and we know the exact time when the um, uh, maghrib will will come so Children and some grown-ups will come down to Maghrib and they will uh, count how many hours or even minutes left. So that knowledge of when the reward will come will actually make the fasting easier. Because we can see the finish line, we can see the end. But uh, the other occasion of joy which is when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't know when that time will come. So, and that that's true for uh, most or other forms of worship. We, we don't know when we will get the reward for doing a uh, good deed or worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is actually uh, a mercy from Allah because Imagine, on the other hand, if we are punished right away after every mistake, without a chance to ask for forgiveness or to fix our mistakes. So, maybe sometimes uh, not being rewarded right away is is um, is a mercy from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. <clears throat> and this is why the belief in hereafter is an important part of our aqidah. We believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us just and merciful accounting in hereafter. The second lesson is the form of the reward itself. When we break our fast, part of the joy comes from physical fulfillment. We were thirsty during fasting, but now we can drink. We were hungry, but now we can eat. But not every form of worship or good deed comes with physical reward. Maybe it's even the other way around. After a long tarawih, we might feel tired. <clears throat> so, but uh, we also have other form of of the joy or the reward. We uh, we might feel tired, but we also feel uh, we have a feeling of peaceful and closeness to Allah after salah. So we have to be able to seek and develop other other types of, of reward. We feel good when we give to the charity, for example, or uh, we feel happy when we can help other people. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us and our children to fast for him and to worship him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept and reward our fasting and worship in this life and in the hereafter. 
Jazakumullah khairan kasih